Do you know about Daniel Schiffer? He is one of my favorite content creator on YouTube, and he create this awesome seamless throw transition inside the Final Cut Pro. Today I'll try to recreate this seamless throw and light leaks transition inside the Premiere Pro. So let's get started. This is my first clip, throwing this orange on top. And this is the second clip, I've thrown this sliced orange down. Now we are going to make a seamless transition between these two clips. Our first step is speed ramping. So make some space into the track. Then right click on the little FX icon. Time remapping, and select speed. Now if we drag this line upwards, video speed will be faster. And drag it down to slow this speed. So going back to the normal speed. And we are going to slow down the full clip 80%. Do the same thing for the second clip. Now we need to customize the speed for this part. So hold on control key, and click here. So this will add a keyframe on the timeline. I'm going to slow down this part only. So add another keyframe here. I'm going to slow down this part around 40%. And speed up the last part 120%. And here we are going to adjust the orange position for both clips. Now move the second clip on top of the first clip. Then go to the effect controls tab and reduce the opacity as around 50%, so we can see the bottom clip as well. First increase the scale a little bit, then select motion, and try to adjust the orange position. Do the same thing for the bottom layer. In my case, it looks perfect for me. Now cut the both clips here. Then delete the unwanted part from the left and right side. And drag this second clip on the bottom track. And increase the opacity 100%. We are almost done. It looks perfect for me. Again we are going to customize the speed in the second clip. And there we go. This is the final preview, after color grading with sound effects. You can check out my 15 cinematic LUTs pack, under the description link. Now let's see how to make the seamless light leaks transition. As you can see, we've already got our two clips on the timeline. And there's definitely a slight clash between these two clips, that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Now I'm going to show you, how can we hide the cut between these two clips. So here I'm going to use a seamless light leaks transition. So you can check out my 30 professional light leaks pack. Inside this pack, you'll get 16 light leak overlays and 16 light leak transitions. I'll add the link under the description. Here I'm going to use a light leak transition. Then drag and drop it above the two clips. Now speed up this light leak 200%. Here I am going to move the brightest part of the light leak directly over our cut. When the brightest part is over the cut, so that we don't see the cut. I'm going to use just 10 frames from the light leaks. Then add the default crossfade transition to the in and out part of the light leak. And add the crossfade for one or two frames. Then just change the light leaks blend mode, normal to screen. We are almost done. But as we can see the light leaks added to the black bar. Now we have to cut the top and bottom parts from the light leaks. So move to the effects tab, search for crop effect. And apply this effect to the light leaks. Then go to the effect controls tab. Under the crop effect, cut 11% from the top and bottom. And that's all. Now add a nice whoosh sound effect under the cut. You can check out my 200 plus swoosh and hit impact sound FX pack. I will add this pack link under the description.
And here's the final preview. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you've any questions, you can feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.